Hey friends, let's recall the key concepts of today's lecture. Today you have learnt about the real numbers, Euclid's division lemma and Euclid's division algorithm. So very first, let me tell you about the real numbers. Real numbers is the collection of all the natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational and irrational numbers. So let me summarize all that for you. So we have here n representing the collection of natural number which is definitely the collection of all counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, so on till infinity. When you add 0 to this collection of natural numbers, you obtain collection of whole numbers. And when the negative of natural numbers are added to this collection of whole numbers, you obtain the new collection of numbers said as integers. Then we have the collection of rational numbers, which we call as the numbers which can be expressed as p by q, where p, q are integers, q is not equal to 0. So this is the collection of rational numbers. Next we have irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are those numbers that cannot be represented in terms of p by q, where p, q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So you have this collection of rational and irrational numbers. When you combine the collection of rational and irrational numbers, you obtain the collection of real numbers, which we denote as capital R. There is one more way to define the collection of real numbers. Now you can see this number line. On this number line we have 0, we have positive numbers, negative numbers. Each and every point represents a unique number. Each and every point is representing a unique number and that number is a real number. There is one more property related to real number that its square is always positive. So this is all about the real numbers. Talking about these real numbers, we have two important properties which you will be learning today. That is Euclid's division lemma and Euclid's division algorithm. Very first about Euclid's division lemma, we say that for any two positive integers, let's say a and b, where a is greater than b, there exists two unique integers q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r, where r is greater than or equal to 0, but less than b. So this is just a restatement of normal division algorithm, that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder, where remainder is always less than the divisor. So in this way, we define this Euclid division lemma which could be applied to any two positive integers. You have to use this Euclid division lemma to compute HCF and that is called Euclid's division algorithm. Here you can see for any two positive integers a and b, there exist two integers q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r. So here remainder is equal to 0, then we can definitely state that divisor of this step is your HCF. If remainder is not equal to 0, then in that case, you consider divisor of this step that is b and the remainder of this step that is r and you apply Euclid division lemma on both of them. So it is continued till you get the remainder part equal to 0. When you get remainder equal to 0, the divisor of that very step is said to be HCF of the given two numbers a and b. So this is Euclid division algorithm which helps you to obtain HCF of two numbers. Like here we have two numbers 110 and 50. When you apply Euclid's division lemma on these two numbers, you obtain 110 is equal to 50 into 2 plus 10. As you can observe, remainder is 10, which is a non-zero quantity. So again, you apply here Euclid's division lemma on 50 and 10. And through that, you obtain 50 is equal to 10 into 5 plus 0. This time, the remainder part is 0. So divisor of this very step is your HCF. That is 10 is HCF of 110 and 50. In this way, you use Euclid's division algorithm to compute HCF. I hope this whole concept is clear to you. Thank you for watching.